Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought we would talk about how exactly I build my, my lifetime table bed, that four foot table I used to build a bed in the back of my van here. I thought we'd go over exactly how I do that, what height settings I use, how I kind of level the bed out and all that stuff. Um, but first, before we get to that, let's talk about the width of the van as it is right now, empty. So from wall to wall here, we've got four feet. From window to window, we have 67 inches, okay? So I'm 5'2", I'm 62 inches long, and the window, from window to window, it is 67 inches long. So I fit up there fantastically. So what I wanna do for you is help you have a better understanding of how I put this together, level it out, and build the bed up so it meets the window ledge right there where the windows are, so the bed will be 67 inches in length. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the table has to be unfolded and set up inside the van. You can't set it up outside the van and then bring it into the van. It's not gonna work. So let's get that going right now. So we're gonna unfold the table. We're gonna lay it flat this way. Okay. We're going to bring our little legs up. These ones hook right in. And then we're just gonna flip the table over. I also want to add that right here is a little red lever that locks the table open. We want to make sure we do that. Okay. So as I have the table set up here, you'll see and notice that it's on a slight angle. And I had somebody in the past say, what do you do to level it? Well, in the past, I didn't level it. It just wasn't an issue for me. But I guess as time went on, it became an issue because I devised a plan. So once again, my plan is rather simple. I find what I have at home and use it. I've got these two pieces of oak here that are leftover pieces that were cut off from the stairs when we were building our wood steps in our house. So they're one inch thick here and I'm gonna place each one of these pieces of wood here under the front legs here to level out the bed the best I can. You know, I'm not a perfectionist. It's not gonna be that big of a deal for me. So I'm gonna place them under there now. Okay, so let's check the height. I've got 23 on the nose here. And I've got 22 here, so we're talking a whole inch. 22 in the back and 23 in the front. So we've got an inch higher here. I'm gonna go with it. That's what I did that's worked for me and we're gonna just go with that. I brought these out. These are uh, shelf liner and they're rubber and they're gonna help these pieces of wood uh, not slide around on the bars. So I'm gonna put those on there right now. All right, so let me just show you here. All right, here's the wood, the shelf liner. And this bar, as you can see, is quite close over here. But it, as you can tell, I mean, obviously the legs are not out here at the edge of the table. They come in a couple inches on each side. So over here, even though the table is longer, the legs come in. I have a lot more space over here. I'm going to keep it this way because I'm going to put my my window reflectix in there. That's where, where they're going to stay when I'm camping. So over here, I've got the same thing. Piece of wood, shelf liner. And that's really helpful from keeping the table legs from moving. So that's what I'm doing there. And, you know, you guys can figure out if something works better for you. You know, make it your own. Um, this is just kind of an idea I had, and it was stuff I had at home, and this is what I came up with. All right, let's move on. All right, so as you can see, the table is lower than the, the sill right here. Let's do a little measuring there. From the cup holder area to the window sill is eight inches and from the table here up that's four inches so we've got to make up four inches from here to here in order for the bed 
to be able to reach from window to window and make it 67 inches. Okay, so this is where the table runner comes into play. It's rubber backed, okay? And it's gonna go along the table, it's gonna drape down and it's gonna prevent my table from scratching or just if anything should move or whatever, it's going to prevent the table from scratching the walls of my van here. And it's also gonna help my mattress not to slide around on the table. So I'm gonna get that put in place right now. Because it's closer to this side over here, I'm going to pull the majority of the carpet on this side because on that side, my window covers are going to slide in. So the majority of this carpet is going to be over here on this side. All right, over here you can see the uh, carpet liner rubber part is there. Carpet along the top. This is really helpful to keep the mattress from slipping and I'll show you that in a moment. And over here, I'm only putting it a little bit of the way down here because again, I'm going to have my window reflectix in there. I may just even tuck this in over here. I'm not sure. I haven't done that before, but maybe I'll do that. So, so far, this is what we have lifetime table elevated by two pieces of wood that are one inch thick it doesn't make the table perfectly level it's it says it's an inch off but i don't know it's pretty fine for me especially when i get my three inch foam mattress on here it, you really can't tell a difference so i'm gonna go grab that and we're gonna get that in here we'll see how that works so as you can see, I put my foam mattress on top. I've got my luggage straps here that are holding it on nicely, not too tight or anything. As you can tell, it's not too tight or this would really be squinching in. Um, this carpet really helps to keep this in place. It really, really helps. So this blue thing on top of this foam mattress is a Seed to Summit sleeping bag insert and I just started using them for my three inch foam mattress mattress covers really because I wasn't using them as sleeping bag inserts so they worked out fantastic so after trips I can just take them off they're open on the end I'll show you that over here and I throw them in the wash machine air out the mattress and I'm good to go so let me show you that all right over here is the end I have the open end here of the the uh, sleeping bag insert see the summit and I just have it over my three inch mattress here and it works out fantastic now I want to show you something the window to the window is 67 inches but I should not have had this mattress cut at 67 inches because I really don't want it any higher than the windowsill part right here I don't want it above here because then that gives me less room up here so I'm probably gonna have to cut this a little shorter, but that's not a problem because right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tuck it down into this area down here. And that's gonna make up my space. And underneath here, I just have a pillow elevating it a little bit. And again, this is no build, guys. This is no build. I, I just use things I have at home. Underneath here, you can see I have my other camping pillow that's just taking up space for here. So when my legs go on there, they won't fall. And the carpet holds this cotton sleeping bag cover thingy that's I'm using really nicely so it doesn't move. And yeah, so that's the bed, that is it. So, even though it said I needed four inches from the table to this, this is only three inches. So I suppose if I had it up a little more, you know, but again, I don't. So it, it actually is probably about an inch below there. Here it's not simply because this is tucked in under here because it's, it's rounded right there. But uh, so this is the table in itself. 
the mattress, how I level it, and now I'm going to put my covers on it. All right, and here's the finished product. This is the quilt that I just keep over this bed. I don't sleep in it. If I ever had to, I would, but it's basically just to cover up my storage space underneath here. That's why I have this. And even when I use this quilt on my Coleman Comfort Smart cot, same thing. I just sleep on it. I either have a sleeping bag or other blankets, but I, I drape it over the bed just to keep everything looking crisp and clean in here. So up here, my pillow just goes right here. And if you really stop and think about it, you know, no one sleeps with their head at the very top of their pillow. Then this would be underneath their back, right? So my head's going to go here. And even though there's a little bit of space right there, it matters not because the pillow is up there. But my head's going to be right here. Over here, same deal. My feet are going to go all the way down there, but it, it's not going to be a problem if uh, the mattress isn't up above this. I wanted it flush with this. And again, it's, it's a little less than that, but that's okay. I mean, you guys make it your own, figure it out. This is just ideas for you to, uh, to run with. So this is my lifetime table bed in my 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. Now, I would recommend and suggest that you reinforce these table legs for safety purposes. Everybody is a little bit different in size and weight. And, you know, it says, this table says it has a 200 pound weight limit of evenly distributed weight. Well, we, we're not evenly distributed for the most part. So take that into consideration. And uh, if your table isn't one that folds then that's great but still reinforce it i would reinforce right here in the center where the table folds i would also reinforce at each leg with a two by two and uh just give yourself some more safety there right obviously this table you know wasn't really meant for sleeping on but it does work anyhow so this is it this is my tiny little bed 67 inches in length from window to window uh, but remember, the walls are four feet, and the table here was 23 inches off the ground in the front and 22 in the back. So again, there's one inch difference. And I also want to point out that the legs have not been taken out of the mode of folding for this table. Do you see up there? I haven't... I haven't uh, raised this table at all, and it has three settings. That one there, that one there, and then there's one down there, a little hole down there. I also want to point out that from the roof to the bed here is 20 inches, about 20 inches. Obviously, when you lay on it, you're going to compress the mattress. So uh, from the center here of the roof to the top of the bed, there's 20 inches. Now from... This area over here to the mattress, you've got 14 inches. See there, 14 inches. So significantly different. But obviously, you know, our heads are not as wide as our shoulders, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. And if your head is as wide as your shoulders, you might wanna go see a doctor. <laughs> I don't Okay. All right, last but not least, and most importantly, how do I anchor this bed in? Because it's important to make sure your things aren't going to fly in the event you have to hit your brakes. So I've got it anchored with a uh, paracord to these wall anchors here around the bar there. Up here, around this bar here, into this anchor here. And that's going to prevent this bed from flying forward. Now, I normally travel with my kitchen, which goes here, my food and uh, my water containers. And as you've seen in other videos, I use the same paracord to wrap the table through the kitchen, the water jugs around the handles, and everything is anchored in with this paracord onto these anchors. So that's important. Just wondering if you guys were thinking, gee whiz. What is she going to do to keep that bed steady? Well, there you have it. 
All right, so this is it. My 67 inch bed in my 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan using a four foot lifetime table and a three inch foam mattress and various other things to make it happen. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. And thank you everyone who uh, has commented on this bed and uh, thrown out such great questions. I hope this video answered your questions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Everything I learn, I'd like to share with you and in turn, you can share with your friends. So yeah, it's like a win-win. All right, everyone, you have a fantastic day. I will catch you later. Until next time.